Hey guys, got some really big news about Vertesium, and I want to jump right into it. Because I believe this is going to be waking up again. Uh, so first off, let me get this out of the way. This is not financial advice, just because I invested in it, and uh, I did well in the past doesn't mean you're going to invest in it and do well too. Uh, this price is jumping around like crazy. Um, but yes, I did invest in it in the beginning. I originally got in at $6 each. I did sell uh, half of my holdings up at $180 each. So I did very well on it. Um, I still own 50% of my original stake, which if you see right now is worth double what I originally paid for. It's over double. Uh, but it's been sitting at like between $250 and $4 literally all year. Uh, that's because as you see above here, the SEC had announced it obtained a final judgment against the proprietors of very initial coin offering. So Reggie settled, and he hasn't been able to talk about it. That's part of it, too. Um, so which is interesting. He consented to an injunction against future violations. Now, that's where we're going to go with this, okay, of the anti-fraud provisions of the federal securities law and agreed to pay nearly $9.5 million. So first off, I want to explain something. This this is very thinly traded, okay? It's only on a couple different exchanges. Um, I'm very thinly like this is high volume for uniswap to have sixty two thousand dollars worth it's a very high volume and that's why there's just not a lot of it out there it's a rare uh token right now and murder locks do steer clear of it it's uh absolutely horrendous fees to buy it and to pull it off of the exchange and you're capped at 50 very a day so just just you know i would stay away from that exchange i've had nothing but i've not liked that exchange all right. Now, um, as far as the overview, you'll notice I can't even pull up a chart. I don't know if that's just me. I also went to CoinGecko to get you guys the chart to show you the price action for this year. CoinGecko doesn't even list them. OK, um, if you've been in the space since uh, 2017, you know what Veritasium is. And if you do not know who Reggie Middleton is, I highly suggest you find out and you find out quick. All right. Now, this is the heart of the matter. And, and I'm going to be bouncing all around. So I'd, I'd stick through the whole video because there's so many different ways we could take this. OK, guys. All right. right now, th let me let me explain, actually, before we dive into this, what uh, happened with Veritasium. So v Reggie Middleton start has been in blockchain since i believe 2010. um he is one of the people that came out and warned against the uh the breakdown of the mortgage crisis and how it was going to happen how it was going to play out what it meant for the country he was 100 percent right i have been following him ever since he announced that he his goal is to take down jp morgan chase on cnbc he is quite frankly i believe one of the most brilliant people on wall street and he has done nothing but fight his way uphill to where he is today. Very, very intelligent person. I have had the pleasure of speaking with him a couple of times. Um, I actually had a meeting with him online, and he is so kind and so patient. And I actually talked to him during one of the most tragic uh, uh, times of the Veritasium project when one of the holders of the very tokens was breached their um, security was hacked and a bunch of veritasium hit the open market and was sold for pennies on the dollar and i actually contacted him in the middle of the night while this was happening and he was so peaceful so patient i, I gotta be honest with you i've never met anyone like it in my life i can't say enough, enough good about reggie milton i hope to have him on the channel um in the future as i get my software up uh I wouldn't be surprised if he gave me an interview because he's literally <laughs> awesome. All right, enough of that. Um, SEC went after him, just like SEC has gone after a lot of projects. But Reggie's was different. See, Reggie built a, a token that was a software package that would allow stock markets to run on the Veritasium blockchain and sync all purchases and sales of securities on that platform to the blockchain making it a trustless system and he succeeded in inking a deal with the jamaican stock exchange now that was absolutely huge right after it was official that he'd inked that deal that's when the sec came down 
See, the SEC is really interesting when it comes to they do nothing, they do nothing, and then all of a sudden they do something. When you think, what, this timing is bad? It's because they literally do not know what they're doing, and they're waiting to the last minute to pounce because anything that threatens the system and how it works right now and the ability to hide things and lie about um, trade, settlement, or the backing of the dollar, how it's backed, how much is printed, then they all of a sudden come out just like what you're seeing right now with Ripple. All right. In Reggie's case, he made a deal and uh, it didn't go to a full trial uh, from what I believe. And uh, he had to surrender uh, the Veritasium tokens that he held, the company held, and uh, pay up to $9.5 million. Now, I want to go back to this phrase, and this is really interesting. Remember, this has been up ever since it happened, over a year and a half ago, two years. Who consented to an injunction against future violations? Okay, future violations of the anti-fraud provisions. I believe what we're seeing now, now none of us knew that, that, that he was doing this, but check this out. This was on January 15th. After inventing DeFi, which he's not joking around, he did do it. He has been talking about DeFi, decentralized finance, since 2014. He, okay, I was recently granted a patent for peer-to-peer, -peer, zero trust, value transfer, sans exchanges, intermediaries, and counterparty risk. We'll use invention to connect 45 countries EU, the UK, Greater Asia, started this journey seven years ago. I've now arrived. Reggie is absolutely going to crush this. Now, I reached out to him and asked him if this directly correlated with Vary, and he gave the most amazingly, perfectly political, proper answer possible. And he said, Travis, this spans so much more than just the token. And I'm, I'm paraphrasing. And he's right. He now holds the keys to the kingdom. Now, if any of you guys know what the web bot is from Cliff High, if you don't, you got to go find it. But there was a part in the web bot that told about a future event that was going to happen that showed that during the collapse of the stock markets, governments were going to flee uh, uh their old system and look for a new one and their new one was going to Reggie and Veritasium and asking him to use Veritasium for a solution. Now think about this. You now own the patent on anything DeFi depending on how he wrote it and I'm going to be digging into this patent later as soon as I can find it. And you are now, you own it. So if there is any DeFi that happens where a company wants to build a platform, which just so you know, Veritasium is already built and operational, and wants to be able to, like like the New York, the, the NYSE or the NASDAQ, and I, I know you go, why would anyone want to do that if they're already making tons of money lying and cheating people out of fake trades, right? Naked short sales, all that kind of stuff. It's because I believe there's about to be an event that's so catastrophic in the markets that it is going to bring to light all of the fraudulent trades that have happened forever. And what's going to happen is the people are going to revolt and they're going to demand a new system. And there's going to be so much money being pulled out of the markets because the, the just like what happened with the mortgage industry, when people started to figure out what the mortgage-backed securities were and how they were being lied to this whole time about how bad the system was. People were pulling money out of MBSs so fast, people's heads were spinning because people's heads were also rolling, right? So now check this out. This is already built. So anybody that wants to do it has to go to Reggie, right? And I have a feeling, this is a gut feeling. This isn't anything, this is just my gut. He is going to demand it be on the Veritasium platform because he is not gonna allow a bunch of lying, cheating, thieving people in the government and on Wall Street take what he built 
took so long and sweat equity to build. Okay? Now let's go to the next couple tweets. Some have forgotten that I preached the power of DeFi as far back as 2013, right about that time that I invented it. While disgusting, sorry, while digesting the DeFi patent that I have just received, and to say digesting is an understatement, I'm sure. I've been reviewing content from 2013 to 2016. It, like the patent app, was precedent. And then it shows right here, there are three types of economic networks in capital markets. Money center banks, such as JP Morgan, exchanges, i.e. the NYSE, and brokers, i.e. Bank of America and Merrill Lynch. They're a centralized network representing the legacy capital markets. That's what's going on right now on Wall Street. Then you have smaller entities, such as online brokers and regional banks, like TD Ameritrade and your normal regional bank. A decentralized network representing the best that can be achieved by co-opting blockchain technologies through consortiums such as R3, C3V. And then here we go, the new face of the economic network, a fully distributed network wherein there are no middlemen to wrest control of participants' capital, no gatekeepers, and the inability of rent seekers to exact extract rents without adding subsequent value to the system. Guys, I believe this is literally about to happen. Now here's the most recent. Our patent, patented DeFi invention was illustrated live in 2014. Video of fully functioning DeFi wallet developed eight years ago, exemplifying zero trust, peer-to-peer -peer blockchain swap tech. And by the way, this includes perpetual wallets, my idea and industry's most profitable crypto pro project. Guys, I want you to understand this. This is the bridge from decentralized finance when it comes to cryptocurrencies, but it ties in current stock holdings. That also would include bonds and gold. Now, Reggie has been extremely active on LinkedIn, pushing VE gold. It has been up and running for well over a year and a half, okay? This brings everything to a marketplace. This is an all-in-one exchange where you not only hold your private keys the entire time, but you are allowed to lend your assets out into the world. You now become your own bank where you are able to lend your hard-earned cash, stocks, because people borrow stocks just you know so that they can short them, um, uh, we, uh, you will be able to uh, lend out your cryptocurrency for yield. You will be able to stake Veritasium. You will be able to loan out Veritasium. When you, you will literally be able to, if the smartest minds on Wall Street want to build something on Veritasium, like a, a bot that buys and sells assets, or a, um, a, uh, what's it called? A, uh, they want to go out and they want to uh, leverage a position. They will need Veritasium to do it. And there is actually protocol in the Veritasium software that allows you to loan your Veritasium so that they can do it. And you would actually receive a percentage of the profits. I'm going to start diving more and more into this. But what's amazing about this and the Populous platform, they're happening right now where so many people gave up on this stuff, it it's happening. Remember, guys, you didn't know about Google when they were in a garage. You knew about Google when they were already launched and all the rich people got their, their money in and then they sold it to you guys. Uh, this is just like it takes a while to build a network, build a platform. Reggie did it. He fought what appeared to be a loss for the SEC and now received a patent for this. This is absolutely game changing. And do I believe that Reggie Middleton has the honesty and integrity to want to still bring value? Because he used to talk about bringing value to the Veritasium investors all the time. Do I believe he still has that integrity? 
I 100% believe he does. And I absolutely have never lost faith in this man and his team. And I am so excited not only to be a part of this, but to be able to share this with you. Now, again, not financial advice. If you take this as financial advice and you're listening to a guy that's on YouTube, then, uh, you know, have fun with that. But I'm telling you where my beliefs are and how, like I said, I want to share with you guys how to look underneath the rocks. Look at the projects that are rumbling, but they're quiet. It's that low vibration, that low pitch where the, the glitz and the glamour comes through marketers. And I don't need to be a part of that. I want to be a part of the world changing projects like Digibyte, like Veritasium, which I really believe also Populous. I hope you guys got something out of this. I'm actually going to send this video off to, to Reggie himself too, which to be honest with you, I have a feeling he's going to watch. And I am so grateful for his time in the past and I'm grateful for it in the future. Because even if we don't do a video together, I know that this is he's going to crush it. That's where my money is. Thank you, guys. God bless. I hope everyone's having a great day. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do it. We're going to make some changes, and we're going to do some great things this year. We'll talk to you later.